Hello, my name is Michael Collins. I'm the Vice President of Sports Medicine for the Outpatient Division of Select Medical. Today I'd like to speak to you about a serious topic in the care of athletes, exertional heat illness. There are various degrees of heat illness with exertional heat exhaustion and exertional heat stroke being the most serious and potentially fatal forms of this illness. Let me first assure you that our staff of athletic trainers are versed in recognizing signs and symptoms associated with all forms of heat syndrome. We also work with coaches and staff to minimize the potential for heat illness to occur. With that said, I'd like to spend a few minutes to review what the current standards on assessment are when an athletic trainer suspects exertional heat exhaustion or exertional heat stroke. The following statement is taken directly from the National Athletic Trainers Association position statement published in 2015. The assessment of rectal temperature is the clinical gold standard for obtaining core temperature of patients with exertional heat stroke. No other field expedient methods of obtaining core body temperature are valid or reliable after intense exercise in the heat and they may lead to inadequate or inappropriate treatment thereby endangering a patient's health. Parents, administrators, coaches, and student athletes should be educated ahead of time that this procedure will be used for heat illness emergencies, especially in patients suspected of having heat exhaustion or exertional heat stroke. At Select Medical, we understand the topic of obtaining a rectal temperature may not be an easy one to discuss. We do, however, want to make sure that all understand that our procedures are in alignment with the highest standard of medical care. Our staff will do everything possible to protect the dignity of athletes who may need this type of evaluation. However, our greatest focus is and always will be the safety of the athletes we serve. Exertional heat stroke can be fatal and quick emergency actions need to follow in those deemed to be in this state. Rectal thermometry is the only reliable way to confirm an athlete's status by identifying if the core temperature is 105 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. If a reading is above 105 degrees, an athlete is in serious danger and needs to be fully immersed in a cold tank or have other aggressive cooling methods applied until repeat thermometry reads 102 degrees or less. At that point, the individual is stable for transport to a nearby medical center. Up next is a mock scenario portraying the management of an athlete in a heat stroke situation. I hope this presentation has assisted you in understanding why we recommend this type of assessment for the management of athletes at the schools where we provide services. Should you have any questions, you can discuss things with the select medical athletic trainer at your school, or you can always reach me at 484-433-2663 you can also email me at mcollins at selectmedical.com.
Coach, will you call 911? I got it. Go grab the thermometer and sheet, please. Hello, 911. We have an emergency at Linden High School. Alexis, would you mind helping me hold this up more so we can screen the athlete? Thank you. Okay, thank you. 911's on the way. Let's get them cooled in the tub. Just grab down at the feet. We're going to roll them over. We're going to grab the shoulder. Ready? On three. One, two, three. assessing his vitals too. Coach, you can watch for the ambulance to arrive and alert him where we're at. Okay, I'll go wait in the parking lot. Temps at 104. Pulse is good. Get the tarp and shade. Caitlin. We can hold that, we can dump. Monitor vitals, right? Let's see how he's doing. You got his head. Heads up. Temps at 104. 